Hello everyone, you are watching Draw with Namjil on my silly channel. I am Namjil and today I'm gonna show you how to draw cartoons on CorelDRAW. So basically it's all about tracing and filling up the colors. Well, uh, this one is a bitmap image or I think it's JPEG and this one is vector I have drawn this on CorelDRAW you can see I can just you know, pull them off and take them apart so if you want to know how I did it I'm gonna show you well I've done this one already because if I do the whole drawing I mean on this tutorial uh, it's gonna be like it's gonna take a long time so I'm doing I'm showing you only the examples I mean how to do I mean what the exact way is okay so first of all what you have to do is you have to bring the jpeg it can be a you know, already colored image or you can have your own sketch you can draw the sketch draw the sketch on your sketchbook and mm, take its picture or scan it and make its jpeg and import it on the Corel draw so what you have to do is first you put it on the page and here is the tr uh, transparency tool okay transparency tool lets you, you know make the image transparent you have to choose uniform here and after choosing uniform, you're gonna see, you know, the, uh, you're gonna see the image as a tr transparent image. W why I'm doing this is, is to make uh, it seem transparent because I have to draw on this image, above this image. Okay, so after making it transparent, you have to right-click on this image and lock object okay why you're locking object is because you know it can move when you draw and um, by mistake so um, to not have that mistake uh, you should lock the object okay you, you can right click and unlock it anytime so for now we're going to lock the object and choose artistic media tool here you have many options and what you have to choose it, uh, is the artistic media tool after choosing it you can find in here a lot of uh, options you know so among them what I'm choosing is this one which has uh, the two tips like uh, the sharp tips uh, you don't have the regular sh uh, shape regular size on both the uh, uh, tips I mean you have the um, thick uh, size on in the middle and and the tips you know uh, both the tips you have the um, what do you say this you have tips I mean <laughs> they don't these don't uh, I mean this kind of brush has no tip okay you know what I mean just choose it and try this you have uh, you have to choose size here you have options you can just make it bigger or smaller according to your need now you can see when you draw it looks like you know, uh, 
you're putting pressure and releasing it actually you're not you're just dragging your mouse if you're using you know graphic tablet you can do it way better but I'm using mouse so it takes a bit longer time than the graphic tablet you know. so what I'm doing here is you know draw the line you know so it's very I mean big so you have to reduce the size from here you know okay it seems better and now you can delete this and make it better okay you, you, you can press escape you know to not have that box around the lines okay. you have to go, go with your finger I mean your mouse you have to pull it drag it very carefully you can practice and it uh, get used to it so basically what I'm doing is you know, making its shape you can press ctrl z at any time to make sure you have done it right so what I'm doing here is you know, um, tracing the image so now what I do is uh, first look at these uh, areas you don't have I mean you shouldn't leave space like here it's empty you should leave like that yeah like if you want to edit this line you can double click on this or um, after you know double clicking you can uh, see this this kind of line and if it if it's like this then you cannot color them so you have to close them you shouldn't have an empty you know the open area so after doing this we can uh, go to view and wireframe wireframe or simple wireframe anyone you can choose and now what you have to do is select the uh, sorry uh, before going to wireframe I'm going to select all okay. select all and go to range and break break them apart control K you can press control K too and so basically what I'm doing here is break all the objects apart after breaking them, go to view and wireframe. In wireframe, you can see you know there's a extra line between. I mean above the actual brush, so you can click on the line in the middle and click press delete. Everywhere you have to do that. So you may take a little bit of a time on doing this. Uh, okay. So I'm done with it, and let's go to enhanced view. So it looks the same, but you know it works different because if you had not uh, not broken apart the all the you know, curves, then you couldn't put colors in them, fill colors in them. So now what we choose is a uh, smart fill tool and in the empty area you just click and it fills the color here, here and here. Now it's very simple. 
click here, click on the object, click on the the area where you have already filled the color and go to the, the exact color you want. Click here and this one is black. Go to black color, fill it here, fill it and it's yellow. Click here and go to yellow. Okay. In this way I have done these <coughs> sorry this drawing you can see here it's the same technique so applying this technique you can trace cartoon character cartoon image and can you come up with this So it's very simple, uh, though you, I mean, it takes a little bit of time. With practice, you can do it quickly and efficiently. So, hope you like this tutorial. I'll come up with new tutorials um, in the next videos. So, until then, goodbye.